Baldur's Gate 3 is a huge game. There's so much to explore, there's so much loot, and so many different ways to create a character. It took me about 150 hours when I'm finally done my first playthrough for Baldur's Gate 3. I play this game on PC, which means there are mods. There are so many different kinds of mods that you can add to the game, and I wanted to go over five of my favorite mods that I use during my playthrough. These are all mostly all cosmetic, so they don't really change the core gameplay of the game. But if people want a video on like ones that actually change core gameplay and enhance the game more, let me know in the comments. But if you guys like this video, please hit that like button and let's just go right into it. I want to preface that I won't be counting Baldur's Gate 3 Mod Fixer and the native mod loader since they're usually required to run any of these mods that I'm going to be listing. All the mods links will be in the description below. They're all done from Nexus mods and I'll kind of go over which one you need. Either you need mod fixer or mod loader, depending on what it is. I'll let you guys know. The first one on the list is Tav's Hair Salon. The character creator for Baldur's Gate 3 is extensive. There are so many different tattoos, hairstyles and presets of the game. I have friends that love this process and take hours making their characters. If you even want more customization when it comes to hairstyles, Tav's Hair Salon is the mod for you. This brings over a hundred hairstyles, which include NPCs from the game and the origin characters. Sadly, it only works on type 1 and type 2 characters. They said they're adding type 3 and 4, and they're on the way. Works mostly on humanoid races and tieflings, and are limited on the males. There's just a handful of them on that. There's about maybe six or seven. This is a great mod if you want a refreshed look at Character Creator. There are a lot of requirements to get this one working, but it's all on Nexus mod. You go under requirements, it's right there. It lists out all the ones that you need to get this mod up and running. The next mod I want to talk about is Bag Bags Bags. There's a lot of damn loot in this game. Mostly everything in this game is lootable or at least interactable. I'm very OCD when it comes to loot and I'm very thankful for this mod. This mod gives you labeled bags for gears, scrolls, potions, grenades, dyes, quest items, crafting items, and so much more. I use this to keep everything organized in my box. This mod can be loaded through BG3 Mod Manager and can be purchased from specific NPCs from all three acts. I honestly can't play Baldur's Gate 3 without this mod. I know Larian has made some changes to the inventory system since Divinity Original Sin 2, but I think it's still not the best. This mod helps with that clutter. Don't you wish you had more control over the camera in Baldur's Gate 3? Wish you could zoom really close to your character and zoom out as far as you can go? With the native camera tweaks mod, you can. This is number three on the list. This one gives the player control over the pitch, zoom, controller stick, dead zones, and so much more. There is nothing to directly install. All the values are read from a toml file, so it's totally configurable however you want. This also works for local split screen as well. The only requirement is native mod loader. You just add those files into that folder and you're good to go. I love this mod because the world is so rich and I love seeing everything so up close. This next mod goes in tandem with native camera tweaks. I know there's a lot of people out there that don't enjoy the point and click movement for a lot of games, and this is a staple for this genre. Well, there's a mod to change that, so the player can use the WASD keys, WASD, to move around their character. This gives the game more of an immersive feeling, especially when you use it in tandem with native camera tweaks. It gives the game the capability of making it like a third person RPG game. You could toggle free roam and lock the camera with caps lock in combat and out of combat as well. There's an auto run with shift plus W. It's very easy to install just like the native camera tweaks mod. The files go straight into native mod loader. This is the way that I played Baldur's Gate 3 after act two and once I installed it, I never went back because this is so much easier for me to move around and explore the world and really soak in Baldur's Gate 3. The last mod I want to talk about, this is a little mod that I downloaded and it adds more dice. It's called Dice Set Expansion. I know a big thing about tabletop are the different kinds of dice that players have, different styles or even custom made. This mod gives you a plethora amount of dice, all themed after things in Baldur's Gate 3. 
such as the Sharon Shadow, Cellulite Silver, the Ballas Blood, and so many more. There are 14 additional standalone skins in this mod. It's loaded right through your mods folder and BG3 mod manager, and there are so many you can choose from. There's also an extra one that I've also added called the Astral Dice Set. Kind of gives it more of like a space kind of feel. It's installed the same way with the mods folder and the BG3 mod manager. These are just some of the mods out there for Baldur's Gate 3. These are the ones that I use on a regular basis throughout my first playthrough of the game. If you want a video on some game changing ones that kind of change how the game works, how different kind of spells you can get, and just kind of augment the game itself, I could totally make a video on that and show off some of those awesome mods. All the mods shown are going to be in the description below. Shout out to all the mod creators out there. You guys do an awesome job and you guys enhance the gameplay experiences for an already amazing game. If you guys like this video, hit that like button. If you guys like the content on the channel, hit that sub button. I stream over on twitch.tv slash beard and the hair three days a week. We talk all Baldur's Gate over there. Let me know below what your guys' favorite mod is in this list or if you guys have another mod that I should check out. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.